Whiskey 9, Romeo, Whiskey Golf. Gear on the Air. Episode 2, Ziga G90. Ziga D19 Digital Interface. WSJT X FT8. Let's get our gear together. Have your G90 ready, powered on, and connected to an antenna or dummy load. Have the Shigu D19 USB radio interface available. Have a computer powered on and the software discussed in this video downloaded and installed. Links to the software will be included in the description. You will need a USB-A to USB-C cable. If you're experiencing radio frequency interference, RFI, on your computer, you may notice issues such as difficulty using a touchpad mouse when the radio is transmitting or rig control errors with the software. To reduce interference, consider using a shielded USB cable with ferrite cores, like the one demonstrated in this video. You will need 3.5 mm male to male cable to connect from the D19 to the radio. You will need an 8-pin mini DIN cable. Plug the 3.5 mm adapter into the CIV jack on the D19. Plug the 3.5 mm cable into the communication interface, located on the left side of the radio. Connect the USB-C cable to the D19. Before plugging the USB cable into the computer, collect the screenshot of existing COM ports. This will help identify the new COM port once the D19 is plugged in. Plug the USB cable into the computer. Plug the 8-pin mini DIN cable into the ACC jack on the D19. Connect the 8-pin mini DIN to the ACC jack on the radio. Long press the AGC slash SPL button to access the RF gain. Adjust the RF gain to 100% by spinning the big VFO knob. Press the funk button, then press the POW button. That will display the microphone gain. Adjust the gain to level 10. Then press the POW button again and change the radio from microphone to line. Next, use the mode buttons on the top of the radio to toggle the radio into UD. Let's review the COM ports. The screenshot on the left is before the USB was plugged in. The screenshot on the left is after. The new COM port is 8. We'll use that for setting up WSJTX. If you get a rig error at startup, just press OK to continue to the settings. Click the audio tab and select the external sound card. For rig control on the D19, choose the G90 in the rig menu. Change the baud rate to 19,200. Select the COM port for the D19. Test the cat button which will turn green if good. Test the PTT button, which will turn red if good. Next, open sound settings. Select the microphone for the external sound card. Use the slider to adjust the volume. Watch the input volume on WSJTX. The goal is to have it peak just above 60 on WSJTX. Press the Tune button on WSJDX and observe the TX display on your radio. Adjust the power output setting in WSJTX until the ALC automatic level control. Reading reaches 100 and the transmit TX. Power displayed on the radio screen is at full output. Everything should now be set up and ready to go. Thank you for watching from W9RWG. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment.